Hey loves, welcome back. So today I wanted to show you guys just a very simple everyday makeup look that you can do with some very affordable products. Everything I'm using is from Walmart, the drugstore, or the beauty supply store. So let's get right into it. The first thing we're gonna do is prime our face. I'm using a dewy primer, but if you have uh, oily skin, I would recommend something that says oil-free or mattifying. Then I'm gonna fill in my brows with this uh, Wet n Wild brow pencil in the color Brunette. And first I'm just gonna brush them out, then I'm just gonna take very light brush strokes and just kind of fill them in. I wish I was both handed cuz this shit here is overrated. I'm just gonna take the spoolie and brush them out again so they look really natural, no harsh lines. So then I'm gonna take my foundation. You can also use concealer to do this as well. And I'm just gonna kinda clean them up to make them nice and crisp. I'm using a flat top brush and just very carefully apply my concealer, or I'm sorry, my foundation to the bottom of the brow. And then I'll repeat and do the same thing to the other brow. And then I'll apply it to the top of the brow, just to give them a nice clean look. Then I'm just taking um, a small sponge and just kind of blending that all out. The next thing I'm gonna do, and this step is totally optional, but I'm going to uh, color correct. If you have really dark circles or like hyperpigmentation, um, this step is good just to kind of help further conceal those. So what I'm doing is I'm applying this LA Colors, this LA Girl Color Corrector in the color orange, just to my under eyes and a little bit around my mouth. Um, and then I'm just gonna blend that out. And again, this just further helps to conceal those dark circles. Now I'm gonna take my uh, Real Technique sponge. I'm gonna apply some foundation to it. And then I'm just gonna start to blend that in all over my face.
and make sure you blend very well. Make sure you get, you know, your neck, um, your ears, just so you have a nice seamless look. And you can apply more as needed. Just depends on the type of coverage that you like. Now I'm gonna apply my concealer. And I chose to use the Maybelline Fit Me in the color 30. Um, but there are plenty others that you can use. LA Girl makes um, a lot of different shades and they're all really good. As well as uh, Maybelline, they make one called um, Master Concealer. So I'm just applying that under my eyes and I'm going to take that same sponge and flip it over to the flat side and then I'm just going to blend it out. Then I'm gonna flip over the, the Beauty Blender and just use the same side that I used to apply my foundation to just kind of blend out those harsh lines so that it um, kind of all blends together a little more evenly. Now I'm gonna set my under eyes with the Black Opal Setting Powder. And I'm gonna use that same Beauty Blender just to apply the setting powder under my eyes. Now I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna brush away some of that excess powder. And then I'm gonna take, because I didn't have a drugstore uh, pressed powder to set my face with, I'm just using one of my, um, one of the powders that I already have. And this is by MAC, I think it's the Barely There pressed powder. And I'm just gonna apply that all over. In this step, you wanna make sure that it's blended out really, really well. I kinda of missed a spot, but yeah, just make sure that it's blended out really well. Now I'm taking the Black Radiance Blush in Toasted Almond, and I'm just gonna apply that to my cheeks and kinda of sweep it upwards. And to highlight, I'm using two different Wet n Wild highlighters. One is a more bronzy highlighter, and I'm gonna apply that first. I'm just gonna wet my brush and just apply that right to the high points of my cheek, sweeping upwards. And you can apply as much or as little as you like. For everyday look, I just do just a little bit. Um, and then I go in with that lighter color that I just showed you. And I'll apply that over top of it.
I also didn't have any eyeshadow from the drugstore. However, um, Wet n Wild does make a, they make a nice palette um, with some good colors on it. And there are so many others that you can choose from. I just didn't have one on hand. So I just used what I had. This is the Juvia's Place. Um, it's just a travel size palette that I got from Ulta. But again, you can use any, any eyeshadow that you find in the drugstore that's affordable. So I just went in with that light color and I kind of applied that to um, the outer crease. And now I'm taking this darker color and applying that to the corner of my lids and just to the crease of my eyes as well. And I'm no pro at eyeshadow, so please don't judge. It's just something quick just to give me a little pop, you know. And again, you can get as creative with this as you want. You don't even have to do this step, to be honest. A lot of days I don't wear eyeshadow because I don't have the time for it. Now I take this shimmery color and I kind of apply that, apply that directly to my lid. And it may be easier for you to use your finger or um, a nice flat brush to do this. Now for eyeliner. I'm using the NYX liquid liner in the color black. And again, I don't do any fancy like winged liner or anything. Just very simple. For mascara, May Maybelline has been my favorite brand for mascara, so I'm gonna use the, the Maybelline mascara listed below and just apply a couple coats of that. To the top and to the bottom if you choose. Now for my lips, I'm taking the NYX lip liner in the color Espresso. And I'm just going to line the outside of my lips, nothing fancy. Then I'm gonna go in with this CoverGirl lipstick in the color cream, and I'm just gonna apply that on top. And I'm just gonna finish that off with a gloss from NYX in the color uh, Creme Brulee. And then I'm gonna finish off the whole look with the Wet n Wild Finish Setting Spray. Spray that all over, let that dry, and that is it. Very simple look. Not too expensive. Like I said, all the products came from Walmart or you know Walgreens or the beauty supply store. And that's it, guys. So thank you for watching. If there's anything else that you'd like to see or anything similar to this, please let me know and I'll try to do more of these types of videos. Thanks guys, bye.